Hey everybody, it's LS11, and welcome back to Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Out of the way of a falling barrel. Unfortunately, I was hit across the eyes by the radioactive waste the barrel carried. When I awoke in the hospital, I discovered I was blind. But somehow the radiation had affected my other senses. It gave me a type of radar that let me see in the dark. I kept my new talents a secret, even when I grew into an adult and became a defense lawyer. My experience with trials soon showed me that victims needed more aid than the legal system could provide. So I took it upon myself to help those in need, and I became the superhero known as Daredevil. Though I faced many difficult adversaries, none has been more persistent than Bullseye and his obsession with killing me. So yeah, we're playing as Daredevil for this one. Here's the thing with Daredevil. Daredevil is blind. This is all Daredevil can really see, is just shadows in the dark. This one's out. Yeah, you never really see this when you play, um, as Daredevil in a regular game, because I just don't think about it. Also, Daredevil used to be such like a big part of the Marvel universe to, a, well, to a certain extent. Like he was supposed to be part of the uh, the New Avengers at one point, but he he, he was on he was a prominent had a prominent role as part of Captain America's side in the Civil War arc of the Marvel comics. Why Ultron Warriors, though? Like, honestly? Am I just supposed to be taking out the Ultron guys, or what? I don't know how to get where I'm going. Oh wait, now we're, now we're going somewhere. I guess there was a hole in the wall or something. It would be kind of interesting if they could include the Kingpin as a character, because Wilson Fisk, he's a character that, well, again, I haven't read the Marvel comics in years and years and years, but, or even kept up to date with them, but has Kingpin really around much lately? Is Daredevil? It's good that these coins are completely illuminated still, I suppose. Yeah, I felt really dumb when I realized that uh, Black Panther was the comic mission I was missing. This By the way, we'll probably take his take care of his soon as well. This is actually the first time I've played through all the comic missions. I've probably played through all of them single, single-wise on my own time, when I was little and stuff. But... This one's out. These guys just keep coming. I mean, as long as there's not like a missile about to be shot into the into the city or something, and I have to defeat my enemy before that happens. It's fine. I 
I know you get a lot of points for beating the enemy, so... Like, for beating your villain. So that's fine. I am out of health almost. That's what I call a knockout. Sure, here I will. Sure. Oh no. Hey, you daredevil. I was just saying hello to your little girlfriend here. I don't think she's feeling too good. Uh oh, she's not about to turn to dust, is she? If you've hurt her, I am not going to be responsible for my actions, Bullseye. By all means, don't be responsible. I want you to do your worst. That way, I'll be able to brag to everyone that I really beat you. What is it with you? Why can't you give up this sick fascination with me? Ah, what can I say? You've always been that one inch I've never had the chance to scratch. That does it, Bullseye. The gloves are off, and you're going down. I mean, he's already going down pretty quickly here. This mission's taking us about six-ish minutes. It's the first mission we're doing in the episode. For those of you who haven't seen this yet, we kind of do hero villain, hero villain in this. We go for about four, to, anywhere from four to six. It just kind of depends. Like last episode, we were able to get six. The first time we were able to get four. That was because one of them was just giving us more trouble than more trouble than the rest had, so... In the end, Electra was fine, and Bullseye was taken into custody. Unfortunately, with the help of a high-priced lawyer, he was able to skip any jail sentence. But I'll be ready. There we go, we got a new costume for Daredevil. Oh, you actually get bonuses for the time you have remaining, so... Whoops, I didn't mean to restart. As a child, I should like the what? End mission. Alright, so... Let's do Scorpion. Let's get another Spider-Man villain knocked out. Let's see what this new Daredevil costume we got was. Marvel Knight. Oh, that one's actually... Not very different. Spider-Man... Spider Venom. Venom. Saber Saber two. And Nightcrawler. This will be fun. So everyone that's probably like, why do you keep using the villains and the DLC Big characters? Was hired by okay, I know the story of the Scorpion, I can tell you his. Matt Gorgon is his name. He was uh J. Jonah Jameson paid for him to be made and infused with the DNA of a radioactive scorpion. Like how Spider-Man was made by a radioactive spider. Wait, do I have to do that? Yeah, I do. Oh, sure. And it was because of Jameson's hatred for Spider-Man because he a menace. Insert decent Jameson impression. Anyway, but he was paid to become the Scorpion so he could kill Spider-Man for Jameson.
Also, for those of you who are like, why are you just skimming through the level? Well, you get you, there's no bonuses. There's no bonus costumes or anything for beating the villains. You just get points. And you get more points for more time you have left over in the end anyway. So. Glad you could finally know. And I believe in the modern day comics, at some point eventually, uh, Matt Gargan becomes Venom. So he becomes Scorpion Venom. Which is interesting because that was like right when I stopped reading the comics or stopped caring about them. And I'm sure that a lot of people find the Marvel comics interesting, and I'm. And if they do, that's all great for them. Like, I'm not gonna judge them for what they like. It's just not my style. I don't think I really like reading comic books anymore. I'll read a book every now and then, or novels and stuff. That's about it. But who knows? I could all change again. And again, these missions are super easy. I don't have enough energy for that. I don't have enough energy for that. And done. I just super kicked it. That was an impressive battle, team. And so now we'll do another hero one. Um, let's see here. Let's do Storm. I was orphaned early on in life and spent the remainder of my childhood as a thief on the streets of Cairo. At the age of 12, I began a long journey south through Africa. Along the way, I crossed the Sahara and nearly died of dehydration. I soon discovered I could create rain and lightning. Then, Professor Charles Xavier came to take, for instance, the time I had to save my teammates from a creature named... Right, so we gotta defeat Hussar and defend Wolverine and Iceman. Okay. See, how many points do we have to get? Uh, 15,000. That's not hard. So once we have like, eh, 7,000, that's when I'll just kind of start skimming through the level rather than taking up everyone and everything. 7,000, that's like right in the middle of 15,000. So with time bonuses and beating the boss and stuff, I should be fine. Should be. Should be. I'm not gonna say it will be. I just really don't want to redo this thing, but we seem to get bronze all the hero ones when we do this kind of stuff, so it's fine. I think we've actually done all Spider-Man villain ones now. I'm not entirely sure, but I think we have. Well, I just kicked my own ass there. Hold up, we're changing up abilities real quick. Chain lightning. Mm. 
Now this is I need a move to use the chain like thing. Just die, will you already? Will you just die? Alright, now then, we're gonna skim through the rest of the level. So like I said, 7,000, 7, it's like right in the middle, so... Okay, this is getting bad. I just died. Because I couldn't see my health. I was orphaned. I can take. Okay, I only have to actually get like five thousand. So that's even better. God, I hate the murder world mission. I know they couldn't just create whole new areas for the comic missions, but, like, still, you had to pick the worst areas in the game. I swear, if I wasn't in this, like, for the long run, run to show off every character that I could, I'd do a lot less. Oh god, I'm gonna die again. Try that again. I was orphaned early on in life, and spent the remainder of my childhood as a thief on the streets of Cairo. At the age of 12, I began a long journey south through Africa. Along the way, I crossed the Sahara and nearly died of I only have two classes tomorrow. This so it's awoke be my mutant ability to control weather. Two classes of work and then an unskippable freshman thing, so. I can take Get the text there, and I was checking the time and everything. <laughs> Alright, let me, let me see here. What ability did I get rid of? Lightning Strike? Conduction. I thought I was doing that one. Die already! There we go. Like I said, 5,000 is roughly what it'll take to get the minimum score that we need. This feels impossible with how many clowns and stuff there are. And the murder bots. See, if they weren't able to attack me while they were doing that, it'd be fine, but they... They can, and very much will, attack me while I'm doing chain lightning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this ability. I've got an idea. It's a risky idea, but it's an idea that I've got. So if I can actually... I'm not gonna... I wasn't gonna... The idea... was to make it all the way... I was orphaned early on. I... Like, once I got my super ability, 
My idea was to make it all the way to the um, clown car level area and just use my super and take out everything. Alright, we're gonna trick the murder bot first. Storm might have, for me, the hardest comic book mission. Because Storm is a character I don't play as very often. I was orphaned early. I can take. And she doesn't have many abilities and stuff, so you gotta get through here. And then all these guys can poison you. So that's more health that you're losing. And then if you try and fly, they'll just shoot you out of the air. And then there's explosions everywhere. She has as many, like, mass attacks, it doesn't seem. What was the one I was using? Hailstorm? Try setting that. that That's a bit. I'm already dead again. <laughs> so yeah, if I wasn't getting stunned every use it, I guess that'd be one thing. I'm already dead again though. Like, this almost feels impossible. Like, Storm is going to be the reason why I don't I finish this at a decent time. Also, that just looks like a legitimate photo for her comic book cover. I'll admit, whatever artist did that did a really good job. So I feel like that, the comic that I'm working on here probably came out before the live-action X-Men movies. <laughs> I rather enjoy that. Alright, so it looks like I'm legitimately going to be stuck beating up everyone. Meaning, strap yourselves in, because this is going to be a long, long mission. Especially when they keep respawning. And I keep dying. What the heck? I was orphaned early at the I swear. I'm trying. I know you probably don't believe me, but I am trying. It's just I don't know how to play a storm. And I've got these clowns all over me. <laughs> I rather enjoy it. So every few seconds I'm dead. And I gotta get all the way through a boss fight without dying. I what the heck? This is gonna suck. Take. I'm supposed to hold this till later. Oh, look at that. They're actually stunned by this thing. This is just gonna be the only way we're gonna be able to win this. We gotta do this until they don't stop. Like, they're not gonna. They're either gonna stop spawning or. something. Okay, it seems like they stopped spawning. It looks like you get like three or four every room almost. Dude! I'm. I had you with the thing. I don't know why you weren't. doing the thing. What I'm trying to say is I had them stunned. 
anyone else care to get in my way? Just die already. Oh, move, move, Storm! dead. I am so dead. I don't know. What? Nothing hit me. I guess the poison got me or something. Well, I did six last episode for you prepared for me to do three this one. If I can even get storms. Anyone else care to get in my way? Storm, it seems like everyone wants to get in your way and you just end up falling over and dying. That just... Like, no offense, Storm. I'm sure you're a great character. I'm sure it's just probably the way I'm playing it. As I'm trying to play as you the same way you play as any other character in this game, which is just get up in their face and start punching. That's the only way I know how to play this game, Storm. And then you get stunned and poison all in one move. And you just you just it's just an This entire level and mission is one big frustration. Are they gonna stop spawning like wildfire now, please? I need to focus in on one enemy. That way I get the health back from it. Okay, that's it. Yeah, 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 Thunderstruck! You mean... Thunderstruck. Have a good rest. Get over here, fake me. Give me that help. No! Oh, okay. Get stunned. Get stunned. Get stunned. And stay Anyone stunned. Anyone else no. care to get in my way? Why? Why are there more of them? Those red orbs better get over here. This is the most stressful mission I've ever had to do. I'm just so ready to be done with this so I can move on to Metroid. Oh crap, I didn't mean to spoil my next Let's Play. Well, yeah, so after I'm done with this game and by Shuji Sanji or whatever, I am moving on to Metroid Other M. I did not mean to. Did not mean to reveal that. A little embarrassing. Whoops. Alright, we're almost there. 
one for me. Taking it slow and steady has been really helpful. Clown's almost dead. Alright. And like I said, now then, lure everybody over here. Thunderstruck. These clowns are weird. And creepy. just running them over, trying to get my health back a little bit as well, like, while I still can. How could you hit a cloud? Again, creepy, ugly, stupid, need I go on. Okay, back in the car. Back in the car. Head to the door. Okay, now if I make it this far, just die. We're gonna have problems. Greetings, Storm. Arcade said one of whoever you are, relief. Oh, but you can the real. Where are they even be? Oh, they're in the they're in the dump tanks, really. Or they're in the dump tanks, you know, in the bathroom. <laughs> You did a little bit of damage. As long as it's like every other boss fight where I get some health back every few hits, that'll be great. There we go. Thank you. Almost as number few. I just want to be done with this. They're adding something else to fight now. What? I hit triangle and circle, by the way. In case there was wondering, like, why'd you just let Wolverine get done? Uh, no, I didn't. I hit triangle and circle, and the game was like, no, you didn't. We're about to have Storm's, uh, Thunderstruck ability again. I, I, if you, I've learned how the thing builds up. It's almost there again. Got it. I saved you that time, Logan. Oh, crap. Sorry, Iceman. Come on, I just gotta... I just gotta take her out. She's almost down. They changed the button combination up on me, and it scared me. Hitting two buttons at once is weird. All right, we got her down. She's almost done. Like we're gonna, we're gonna win this as long as Iceman and Wolverine don't die. Okay. Got that one. Saved Logan again. Yes. Saved it. All right, it's done. It's done. We've got our beat now. She's almost down and out, so it's fine. And we are ouch. Not we are out. We are out of here. Whew. 
So, I defeated the robot of Hussar and saved Wolverine and Bobby from death. It's a shame Arcade got away. And we got her new skin. So, we're gonna do another villain mission and then we'll come because I think Storms took a lot longer than expected. So we got a bunch of characters down here. We were do we're gonna do an easier one. Hi, Bach. So let's check out the new storm costume we got. Which would be classic. Oh yeah, I actually like that one. I actually have an action figure of that one now that I think about it. Hi Bach. You know what? We'll do it. Let's do it. Mr. Fantastic. Luke Cage. Well, not Luke Cage. Invisible Woman. The Human Torch. The Thing. Fantastic Four. Let's do it. Prepared for anything. Pybok has the combined powers of several of our superheroes as a result of the Super Skrull program. He was given these abilities in hopes of leading the Skrulls in the conquest of Earth. So far, he's been unsuccessful, but Pybok's a very determined foe and will never stop trying. All right, well, if the rest of the Fantastic Four is just gonna mosey on through here taking out enemies, old Johnny Storm is gonna speed us through here. Because we did this as him, like at the end of the last episode. Isn't it funny how these things work out? And because there's no rewards involved, I know I sound like Deadpool the way I'm saying that. Speaking of which, we're gonna do Deadpool's mission next episode. I re I'm really interested in that one. He literally got all of us. Alright. Human Torch, back up. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, it's the, it's the wizard strategy, that's what it is. But yeah, we've well, assembled the Fantastic Four for this one. And apparently this is like one of their things. Okay. The Invisible Woman is gonna get the final hit because Invisible Woman's cool. I don't get what anyone says, I like Well her. done. It's nice to know we have a team that can handle Pybok if he... Final score was 11,000, but just because that storm one ran for a while, so I don't know exactly how long it went, I'm gonna call it here. We only have... Nineteen left, it appears, and we can knock those out in like two more episodes. So thank you all for watching this episode of Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I've been LS11. If you liked the video, leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you thought of the series so far. And of course, feel free to subscribe. It's free, it's easy, and it really helps us out. Thank you guys. See you next time.